Hello. For this video, we are going to talk a little bit about getting motivated for studying to help support management of anxiety and anxiety related to tests. One of the things that can often come up, particularly when we're feeling a lot of anxiety around tests, is a lack of motivation to do that particular thing that would help us uh, do well or study for tests, especially if testing and test taking is something that's particularly unpleasant for us, it can be easy to avoid or to feel very unmotivated to study or to be prepared for the tests. The challenge with that is that it might in inadvertently end up making the situation a little bit worse and that the more that we avoid the anxiety related to the tests, the more anxiety we might end up feeling when it comes to taking the tests or studying for the tests. So we want to talk today about motivation and how to keep ourselves motivated related to studying and test taking. Now, when we talk about motivation, uh, it's helpful to understand what it is and the different kinds of motivation that we might experience. Uh, overall, motivation is the internal drive that initiates, guides, and sustains goal-oriented behavior. In other words, it's the coming together of our values, our energy, and our actions. There's two really main types of motivation that we can think of and break it down into different categories. One is intrinsic motivation or drive motivation. These are things that are coming from internal to ourselves. They might be uh, desires or interests or energy. Uh, and then the second is extrinsic motivation. These are the way that we tend to think of these as being goals, things that we strive for, things that we work for, things that we want that might be out in the future that could be considered kinds of rewards for orienting our actions. And so we can think of both of these kinds of motivation in terms of coming into play when we think about studying and feeling motivated to study and take tests. Now, there's really three main steps when we think of when it comes to when we come to think about cultivating motivation. And that might be a, a different kind of term than we think of before, a cultivating motivation. It may be that we think sometimes of motivation as something that we either have or that we don't. But the reality is that motivation is something that can grow and it can be nurtured and can be sustained depending on how we think of ourselves and the situation and how we act. And so one of the first things that we want to do when we think about cultivating motivation is identifying your goals. Really thinking through what is it that you want? Coming to understand really clearly what's important to you, both now and the way that you might be feeling, and in the future, so that we might clarify uh, what, it is that we're, what it is that we're working towards. Number two is that we want to consider how those goals line up with your values. Essentially, we're kind of asking the question, what's the why behind the what of the thing that you want to do? This is where we take that external motivation and we sort of bring it together with the intrinsic motivation. We identify our values, the things that are important to us personally, and we try to align those as best as possible with the external goals that we're moving towards. Number three is we can clarify for ourselves how your current options line up with the things that you want, your goals, and with your values. It's asking the question, does what I'm doing line up with the kind of person that I want to be both now and in the future? Doing these things can really help us clarify our own internal sense of what's important to us and help us get to know ourselves, which is one of the first steps in cultivating motivation. Now, there's some tips for maintaining that motivation, particularly as it applies to studying and taking tests. Now, the first tip that we would have, number one, would be plan ahead. It would be don't wait till you are in the moment to clarify your values and goals. And this can be particularly helpful when we talk about studying uh, or preparing for the tests, that we want to have a clear plan about why exactly it is that we're studying and what it is that's gonna be helpful in maintaining the motivation for that other than feeling anxious for the tests. Now, this is different than planning ahead in terms of laying out our plan for studying. It is a little bit of what's underneath that, that we plan ahead in terms of understanding why we're studying and 
what it is that's driving us to, to line our behavior up with those values. The second tip for maintaining motivation is to get organized. It's to make a list of how you want to move towards your goals and values. This is where the planning comes in a little bit more helpful, where we can say, all right, studying is important to me, and it's important to me for these reasons, and this is where I want to go. How is it that I want to best live out those values and goals with regard to my studying? How do I want to balance uh, and engage studying in a way that's going to feel really meaningful and effective for me? Lastly is to resolve conflicts. Now, it's to consider how we might be able to prioritize competing values, recognizing that sometimes we want different things. For example, there might be a time that you want to spend time with friends or family, but you also want to be studying to get a good grade on your test. What we can do is we can anticipate and understand that these conflicts are natural and that they will arise, and that we can plan and be organized for how we're going to resolve those conflicts ahead of time whether that's by communicating with our friends, acknowledging and valuing the different needs that we have, and then being able to create a plan that is going to best resolve some of those conflicts for ourselves so that we're not stuck feeling a lot of anxiety and we can feel confident that we are both uh, attending to the needs that we have regarding studying and balancing that with any other potentially conflicting values or goals that we would also have. Those are some, just some brief ideas for how to maintain and cultivate motivation, especially with regard to test taking and studying. Uh, if, as we say in our other videos, if you would like some additional help in understanding this or working through some of the practical implications for this, uh, the counseling services here at CHS are always available for you. And uh, hopefully that can be helpful in implementing some of these brief recommendations.